the, the biggest thing that PFW offers the market is an expertise in the dealership itself. Um, so it's really not so much that we're, we're um, gearheads and involved in the software and technology specialists as much as we're interested in how we can use technology and how we can exploit technology to make things work better in the dealership. Our cost, you know, we have over the million dollar per person, so our fish, we are very efficient here. They try to strive to us as the larger operations are more efficient. It's hard for me to understand that uh, for doing, you know, just over $20 million of sales, uh, 18 employees, how, regardless of who owned us, how it would be more efficient. So we run a very efficient operation. Uh, we've updated a lot of stuff in our operation. So uh, newer forklifts, newer semis, uh, computers, keeping the facilities updated, uh, f furnaces, different stuff. So we're putting it back in. So at any time commodities drop down or sales drop, sales drop down dramatically, we can still move ahead because we're, we put the investment into the facility so we don't have that outlay later. We run uh, how a large operation it has more discounts. We have to, it's a business decision of how we want to price our equipment when we go out and value the used equipment. Uh, we have a, a good return on what people feel about our operations, about our technicians. Uh, when they buy stuff of being t set up properly, being taken care of after the sale, uh, when they're in season, uh, having the experts to follow up with them. Uh, we have some very highly technical people, master mechanics, that the people know who they are and have, they know they can get the quality service. So that's helped us. But it's a, the larger dealers, most of the time they're using those extra volumes for additional profits. So when it comes out to the per deal basis, we usually have been lower on pricing because the dealer is trying to use that other money for reinvestment into more dealerships or other things.